Hey guys, it's Sluggy, and I've got another video today. Um, before I go into what I uh, created and what I'm going to show the process of, first I want to say thank you so much for your patience. Um, I haven't posted a video in three weeks, and so yeah, like thank you so much for being patient. Um, and I hope you can understand that I am juggling school right now as well, and uh, uh, I am in my last semester of school, so that means I'm also in the middle of job hunting as well. And finally, I'm also <laughs> responsible for planning a pretty big trip at the end of um, my semester for me and my friends. But yeah, so I hope you can understand, and I promise to uh, try and be more, uh, just to try and post more and stuff. And yeah, anyway. So, as you can see, I tried a new recording style. Uh, this time, I have the tripod and my camera above my Cintiq. Uh, my desk looks a little weird right now with my tripod right over my computer, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I really like this. I like that it's not skewed. Um, the only problem is that sometimes the way I hold my pen, you can't really see what I'm doing in the image, but actually the way I hold my pen when I'm painting when I'm painting like that is really bad for my hand. Like it really strains my hand. And when I realized in um, when I was looking back at the footage that I was covering some of what I was drawing, I tried really hard to uh, to change the way I was holding my pen towards the end of the video, and it actually really helped my hand. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So. I think I think this is kind of cool, and I like I like the over the over the head kind of uh, recording, uh, and it'll train me to hold my pen better and not strain my hand so much. So this one, this video is going to be a little bit longer than my usual. Usually, no matter how long a a video takes, I will try and make it definitely like around under 10 minutes. But this video is around 15 minutes long, and it's long because this image that I'm creating particularly is for my portfolio, you know, part of the portfolio that I'm using to get jobs. And so I spent a lot longer on it, and I'm drawing six total of six characters, so uh, that's kind of like doing six illustrations in one image, you know? Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, pretty much what I'm creating here is a character page uh, where I have one character in a semi-neutral pose and then uh, five other five other I guess poses and expressions for that character next to it to show kind of the range of motion and the range of expressions that this, that this character has and this character is um, just a huntress that I created in a previous illustration and I'll uh, link that illustration in my in the description so you can see what it looks like and I actually pull it up but like it's gonna be you, you won't probably be able to have time to see it because it'll just be like flying uh, so yeah uh, this is a character page and the point of these things is um, it's helpful for job hunting because it shows that to an employer that you can draw the same character multiple times and that you can draw the characters believably in different situations. It pretty much just shows an employer that you understand the character and that you can, um, yeah, that you know them kind of inside out. And of course, you know, this isn't perfect, like I'm sure my, my character and the way I pose them and stuff can do a lot of improvements, but this is just my attempt at it, and I think it turned out not too bad, not too bad. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I can go into a little bit about what I was thinking while I was trying to pose this character. Uh, so pretty much, I wanted to make sure that I was showing that I can draw different things, so like, I made sure that she wasn't always standing, for example, like I had her uh, crouching and I had her from the side view and I had her like you know tilting point is like I pretty much tried to make sure that like 
her face wasn't facing the camera all in the same direction, so she's not always in profile and stuff, or like, you know, things like that. And um, sometimes you'll see later, or I think maybe I've already moved her around in this uh, in this part of the video, but pretty much I've moved her a couple uh, different types, yeah, her different poses around, or I flipped it because what's important about when you're setting up a character page is that wherever the character is looking um, it should be to inside the page. Oh and by the way this part does get blurry so I cut it out and um, I'm it's pretty much the same process though with how I'm doing some of the other characters so you're not missing too much so yeah I just cut to that but anyway um, so for example this this pose that I'm working on right now you know she's looking up and then to contradict that, I guess, I have a character, her character pose of her looking down, and that way the viewer who's looking at this page is always looking inside, like, there's no, um, there's no pose where she's looking or facing outside of the page, and that way it just keeps it in line, and just, yeah. Um, so for expressions, I've also at first thumbnailed or like drew her thinking that she was going to do something else, but I realized like, oh, it looks too similar to another pose, so I changed it. So like, just keep in mind about things like making sure that the expressions look different uh, for each thing, or else it might show that like you, you can only do one expression or something like that. Um, I guess another thing to keep in mind is definitely the silhouette that's pretty important I tried to make sure that she's very readable so for example here the one I'm about to work on where she's leaning over the fire and is um, warming her hands at first I had one of her legs as like I guess uh, one of her foot planted on the ground but I realized that that, that really convolutes the silhouette because her hands are right in front of it and it just doesn't look as streamlined or just as readable. So you'll see in a sec that I uh, drew her hands and then I'm moving her legs so that the silhouette just reads a lot better and she's it's just more clear. Oh, once again, I don't forget to flip my canvas because I want to make sure that uh, that it's readable both ways and that way things are doesn't look weird or whatever in another way uh, yeah so yeah there so there's where I decided to move her legs because I just think that they read better it's not it's not muddling up with the hands and of course and then another reason for that is because I'm actually pretty happy with how those hands turned out so I don't I want you to be able to see that rather than uh, rather than hide it so for this character, for this uh, expression, the one where she's like kind of wincing at the sun or something like that, I actually have a mirror on my desk that I've kept here for a while and what I do is I actually use my own face and I look at my reflection and I do that same expression and I see exactly what, what muscles in my face and stuff move so that I can then stylize it on her. So for example, something that I noticed when I did that kind of like snarl wince kind of mouth is that the side of my nose actually also goes up when I'm making that making that face and that's something that I tried to make sure that she also had is that so that's why I gave her kind of like a, a sort of harsh line down her nose uh, which you don't usually want to put on a character unless they're like an older character but it's important on her just to 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 show that she's kind of that making that wincing look so there I quickly, you know, put up that illustration that I, that I did and I was just color picking trying to uh, understand the colors that I used before. Um, I, I colored in one character first just to make sure that I was happy with how the colors look all together and then here I'm, you know, doing all the other characters. But yeah, um, I guess I can kind of talk a little bit about how I was figuring out my colors so you know I want her again I I want her face to be the one that you look at most so I um, it has the brightest and saturated color there and uh, I kept pretty much everything else 
pretty desaturated except for her coat here because it's not so bad that that's um, saturated since it's point is it's in the upper body while later you'll see that when I do the, the do the pants uh, sorry not the pants when I do the boots I actually use the same thing but I realize like it's too much contrast down there I don't want you to look down at her boots so I actually desaturated the boots and yeah so I guess for now while I'm trying to think of what else to talk about I can just talk about other stuff for now while you just watch me you know color in and paint um I guess what I'm making this for and what I'm preparing for is a convention called CTN. It's a uh, convention in California for for artists in the film industry and the game industry. I, I think primarily it's more for the film industry. And I'm just preparing together my portfolio so that I can show it to, to people there. Uh, there are recruiting events there and I'm also going to be seeing a bunch of the artists that I really look up to and I am so excited for that oh my gosh um, two of my like biggest biggest inspirations and just like the artists that I really look up to are gonna be there um, one of them is Brittany Lee and the other is Corey Loftus uh, you guys should look them up they are seriously my all-time favorite artists and I I am, I'm like so nervous to meet them and I don't even know what I'm gonna say, but whatever, we'll figure it out when I get there. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm just really working on my portfolio right now for, for job hunting and stuff. Um, after this, this was pretty much kind of the last thing that I needed to work on uh, before I felt like I was ready to kind of like, you know, send out uh, my website address. Um, for everyone to see and I guess you know if you guys are curious I'm I'll, I'll link my current like you know my official professional website uh, on the descri description this YouTube page is you know it's it's more for my it's more for my personal work but I thought like since I'm working on this I think this would be a valuable thing to show people just cuz I don't know maybe there's some of you who also wants to work in the film industry you know but yeah Look up Brittany Lee and look up Corey Loftus because those guys are just, whew, they're amazing. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm taking one of the, the poses in the beginning that I sketched out to really render it because it's kind of a waste of time to do all of that for all the, for all the different poses and stuff. Like there's no point in really rendering it to this high detail or high, like, I don't know, fidelity, I guess. Um, uh, but, you know, you want to do this to show the employer that you can, if you if they ask you to, if they want something super rendered and almost 3D, um, you, it shows that you can do it, pretty much. But, like, the point of this page is to, sh is to show the different angles of the character. Um, well, there's just this one, like, kind of beauty shot to show, like, how it might look like if this was a 3D character. So yeah, I'm just um, I'm pretty much just taking one of the fun of it to to a really high polish. And once again, if you notice which way she's which way her eyes are pointing, I guess like she's looking inside the paper. She's looking towards the other uh, the other poses rather than the other side where it takes you outside of the paper. Uh, yeah, just little tips like that that that's good to remember. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty much just polishing and rendering, uh, I've said this in another video, I guess I'm not really sure how many times I should, like, uh, remind the same things, I guess. I guess maybe I will just in case there's people who hasn't seen some of my other videos, but, okay, uh, when I'm thinking about color and light, uh, when something is brighter and when something is being lit, usually it's not just adding white try to make sure that it's not just adding white that it's also getting brighter and also maybe even changing a little bit of the hue because remember that light has color in itself light is hardly ever white it's usually either leaning towards yellow or blue and so you want to add that into whatever you're lighting up so for her I'm giving her a like 
um, warmer light color while she's being lit on the other side that's a little bit cooler and so yeah so for example her coat there I was making sure that it's getting brighter and a little bit warmer rather than just getting lighter so here's my final image um, so pretty much yep it's just the five poses that are uh, not rendered to a high polish it's just showing you know the different ways that she can move or the expressions she can make well then I have one that's quietly quite <laughs> quietly quite polished and uh, just to show how she would look like fully rendered but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, let me know if you have any questions or you know anything about the film industry and all that stuff and or the video game industry because those are things I'm super passionate and excited about but yeah thanks again for watching and thank you for being patient once again and